subscribe. Hello guys, welcome to ROHCS A exam prep part two. I'm sorry I haven't been able to post because I was having some sound issues. I noticed that during the first video. So uh, today we are focusing on Portman containers, looking at registries and also inspecting containers and running them. By the end of this, you should be able to grab 100% on this section. Before we go, please subscribe, like and click on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever new content comes. We will be treating all the topics of Red Hat and also we will be doing a lot of topics, ROHCSA, ROHCE. Please just uh, like go to the comment section and uh, write and we will respond. Thank you. So last time we said in order to run containers, you need the software to run that technology and uh, containers are just like operating system level virtualization for applications. So in the old or traditional way of doing things, uh, we first started by having, let me say like a single server, right? A single physical server like your laptop and mine where an application or applications apps applications are being installed then came this cool stuff called virtualization where we had a hypervisor where we had a hypervisor sorry let me reduce this okay where we had a hypervisor and on that hypervisor we had different virtual machines right we had different virtual machines which on those virtual machines we had our regular applications as the other one now at the level of containerization this is what we have now with containerization with containerization we still have our hypervisor right we still have our hypervisor on top of the hypervisor we still have our vms now our vms become what they become the container host because it's like a virtualized environment for containers and on top of our vms now we have various container stream that is we have various containers running in there which runs now a group of what a group of applications it runs now a group of apps in their own restricted environment. So they run a group of apps in their own restricted environment. All these servers, they, ha they run uh, applications plus their runtime environment, right? That's some sort, this is OS, OS, OS. OS becomes like the host. This is the host, right? This is the host of the OS, of the VMs, right? This is the host of the VMs right here. And uh, this is the host of the container. So this is the host of the container right here. All right. So we said we do a yum install container dash tools. That was a quick recap of less of last time's lesson. So these are all the packages required, Python, Container Tools, Docker, Portman Docker, and Scorpio and like. Right, it's installed. That is all you need. So uh, containers do not need what any daemon. They are agentless. Portman is agentless, right? So let me create my user. User add Ford. Right, let me add user Ford. So I s password user Ford. I give Ford's password. I SSH to Ford. To 
default at localhost. I give fault password. Right, so I'm here. Now I'm user fault now. Okay, so which leads us to what? Registries. It's very important because for you to be able to run these containers that we have here, for you to be able to run them, you need to download container images that you use to what? Create your containers, right? You need to download container images. And where do we have container images? Container images are hosted on registries, right? They are hosted on registries where you have to pull them. They are what? They have been created and fused together with every package, everything that is needed by that application to run in an autonomous state. That is a state without any interference. Those are container registries. And um, whenever you install container tools, the default registries will always sit in So if I vi into slash etsy containers registries.conf, this is where you have your default registries, right? So the first one right here we see is registry.access.redhat.com. That is that will always be the default one. Then we have registry.redhat.io. Of course, you know with Red Hat, you need to be able, you need to be part of their products to use. Uh, you need to have their products to be able to use their registries. There is docker.io. Right. We have three registries in this uh, in this uh, container host. We have three registries. So we have Red Hat.io, we have Red Hat. Uh, redhat.access.com then we have docker so these registries host container images that if we can pull down we can pull them down to our system right we can pull this container image right down to the os then deploy it as a container that will run right here so we pull it down then we do we do a portman run to run it it starts running pull it down and we run okay these are the registries that we have for you to use registry.access.redhat.com you have to log in registry registry.redhat.io you have to log in but docker.io you don't need to log in right you don't need to log in so these are registries during your exams you will be given a registry make sure you come into this directory and make sure your registry is the first registry right here so that you will be able to pull from that registry. Make sure when you look for your unqualified search registries, you have it right here. Else, there is another way of doing it, which uh, I will recommend. But if you forget, you can come in here and uh, just put your registry. At times, you might you you should come in here and put your registry or if you see it there then you're lucky but you can be given the registry to put it in here all right let's see let me escape all right so it's the same server i'm just moving between windows so right let me go back to um user fault right here if i do a portman info i pop i pipe uh, oh my god i pipe and i grab dash i o dash a six which is six lines after the word registries i want to see the registries I want to see the registries that I have. Oh, okay. Portman info, right? 
pipe and grab that A6 for the word registry. All right, see the error. Okay, we have registry.access.redhat.com as our first registry where we can pull packages. Okay, right. Then we have redhat.io, registry.redhat.io as the second and third, right? If I try to pull a package from registry.redhat.io, I won't be able to pull. So let me check now. How do you check if you're logging or how do you check? How do you log in? So first, let me check if I'm logging. Portman login dash dash get dash login. You see, it tells me that you're not logged into the registry access.redhat.com. It is it defaults to this because I have it as the first one. I can literally call it back and put a space. Then I put registry.redhat.io. It will ask me my information. Right. It says I'm not logged in into registry.redhat.io. How do you log in? I just do a portman login. That's all. Portman login that's all it asks me we i discovered that with redhat.access.com you can use any name to log in it will log you in so if i do youtube any name you want any password you want you don't even need to remember it succeeded now if i get my portman get logged in again you see i am user youtube right here i'm user youtube so now if i do a portman Portman search HTTPD. Right. I can search and run containers from registry.access.redham hat. If I copy this container name, and I do a Portman, Portman run, Registry.access. Dot. Red Hat. Dash D for detach mode because I want to get my screen back. So it will pull the container and run it at the same time for me because uh, I didn't have the container image yet. It's pulling it from that registry. I am logging to that registry. So when you log into a registry, always make sure you check and uh, be actually locked into a registry so if i do a portman ps you see i'm running a container it's running already that's a container from registry dot red has red hat that i am running and the name is friendly gold oaza that's the name of my container i can equally run it portman run dash d dash dash name let me call the container web server. Then I grab what? The container name I want to run. If I do a portman ps, I have two containers running. My second container is called web server. So I want to say this also. You can create uh your own you can create your own registries right you can create your own registries and uh, use it remember i said if you're unable or if you don't remember or if you are being given a registry and if he, they ask you or you are being asked to create a registry in your home directory then what you just need to do is you just need to do a make directory dash p dot config which is already there containers which is not there then containers you make this directory then you vi into dot config containers registries dot conf and in here you can input what you have in here 
you can input you can literally copy this line if you don't remember you can come into the default one and copy this line then paste it in yours I can edit this and just put one container right here query.io query dot io this is also one of the registries managed by red hat query.io i save and quit now let's do a portman info with pipe and grep that is dash a that is seven lines after the word uh registries you see we have only one container now, which is query.io, and that container is coming from .config containers registry.conf. If I cut .config, if I cut slash home for .config uh, containers registries.conf, right? You see, so we have one container here. That is the container that we are using the container registry that you we are using we have one container registry sorry and that is the container registry that we are using so if i want to delete that i can delete that file remove rm that file then if i do a portman info again we default now back to the container registries in slash atc slash containers registries.conf and that will be all about uh this lesson i hope you guys practice and uh, use registries correctly because using the registries and knowing them correctly is one way to get a hundred percent trust me let's go slowly this is the second video the third video we will start doing port mapping inspecting containers and uh, that will be some good stuff thank you please subscribe like and click the notification bell